Hello beautiful souls. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the family. I'm so grateful to have amazing viewers like you. Your support makes all the difference. Please subscribe to this channel. It's crucial for the growth of the channel. By support and subscribing, it empowers me to create more impactful content just like this. So don't forget to press the subscribe button. And now let's move to the meditation. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining with Tranquilu with Nikki once again. Coming up with a brand new, a very different meditation tonight. I hope all of you are doing really well. And I do understand if some of you have not been feeling that great recently. And that could be anything, whether that is just emotions or things externally or maybe things are amazingly well and you just want to pump yourself up a little bit more by being with higher vibrations and working in depth in your own healing space. Tonight's meditation is something very, very amazing. Sharing that I do have an amazing connection with Egypt whether that is a past life or even a higher dimensional space, just to understand how magical the ancient Egypt really was. And most of it has turned into a secret, a deeper secret. And we have washed off with all that knowledge and the pyramids that we all see at this point. They might even make you feel more mystery in it. We might understand to the information that we receive of why those pyramids were created. But have you really gone in depth of research? That a form of a pyramid holds a lot of healing, higher energies in them. And that is a fact. When we go back into the space of healing, ancient Egypt comes as one of the places where healing was done in a deeper sense. The ancient Egyptians were known for their advanced knowledge of healing and their unique ability to access higher realms. This was due to the strong influence of the higher beings in their culture, particularly the goddess Isis and Sekhmet. These two powerful healers were very, very reserved. In a space where their abilities to heal both physical and the spiritual ailments and they were often called upon by people for their assistance. The ancient Egyptians believed that these goddesses had a deep understanding of the connection between the physical and the spiritual worlds. Unable to tap into this knowledge to bring about healing they're also known as the gatekeepers of the higher realms. Isis and Sekhmet both are prominent goddesses, playing a role in the healing process. Isis was known as the goddess of magic and healing, often depicted with the wings and serpent on the head. She was believed to possess powerful healing abilities and would cure any ailments with her magical powers. As we know the story 
of how she brought back Orisis in order to give birth to Horus. There is another beautiful, strong goddess known as Sekhmet. She is a goddess of war and destruction, but also has healing abilities. Win her. The aspect of carrying healing properties, not only together as she moves forward with destructions, but also applying in curing things as well. Together, these two goddesses often are invoked by the priests and the healers to move to aid healing of the physical and the spiritual illnesses. Temples dedicated to Isis and Sekhmet still have these higher power energies that feel and sense the amount of healings that have been done around these areas in the ancient Egypt. And as a sensitive a person who feels energy can easily find those areas very, very healing. Tonight's meditation is all about working towards higher realms, but very much in the physical plane, staying very, very deep into that state of deep trance in order for our consciousness to move around the areas that we require to move in that ancient Egyptian state or the age where healing is prominent to be felt, understood and worked upon. We're also going to get into sensing and feeling these high power goddesses energies working and helping us through as there is no time and space and we can move towards areas if we want. The only thing that we require to do is surrender to the fullest in order to trust and believe the power of healing in the ancient Egypt. So let's move into our meditation. I would like all of you to just get into a nice, relaxed, deep position where you just have to allow yourself fully be in that space of relaxation in a peace and a tranquil state. If you just would like to lie down or maybe just be a little upright, just getting yourself a lot ease and relaxed. And I would like all of you to now close your eyes. You're going to listen to the music in the background along with my voice. And as you do so, you'll also start sensing, feeling, visualizing, imagining. And the power of imagination is going to switch on the power of intuition and the power of healing. You will connect with mind, body and soul very, very deeply. Almost feeling yourself that you're back into the age of the ancient Egypt. As you are now relaxed, just by taking a nice deep breath in from your nose, and then exhale it out slowly from your nose. But make sure that you allow yourself to take a subtle, deep breath in and out. 
deep breath in and out. Allow yourself into that state of calm, tranquil. Every time that you're taking that nice deep breath in and when you are exhaling, you're just allowing yourself and your body to slowly relax, get in that nice deep state, a state of freedom, freedom from all the thoughts, everything that externally holds you back. And with the help of the breath, you're also engaging in calming yourself even more as you're more conscious as you breathe of how your body connects with your breath and how it allows the emotion of peace and relaxation move into your body slowly and gradually. It's almost as if you could see yourself lying down, imagining yourself lying down or seated up in whatever position that you may be at the moment. And as you're breathing this beautiful, lovely, deep breath in, you're visualizing this amazing, beautiful light that you're picking up as you breathe in. And when you're taking that nice, long, deep breath in, you feel that you are filling up your body with that white light, a bright, glowy light. And you can literally see how it moves from one part of the body, fills it up, and then slowly moves onto the other parts and fill them up with light too. And each time you are exhaling, you're also seeing that you're letting go of these dense energies that you may be holding inside the body time to time in that external life, the physical life that we lead. We hold a lot of emotions, a lot of physical pain, a lot of mental stress and issues within ourselves. And with the help of this magical space of relaxing and being in that peaceful state, you're filling up your body with white light and also removing anything that is dense that you have picked up and that is not really yours and moving it out as you exhale breathing in white light inside you and exhaling what no longer serves moving out of your body and i'd like you to keep visualizing this amazing deep sense of relaxation filling up little by little in your entire body from within. You've already sensed yourself filling up from the feet up to the legs, now to the hips, moving to the pelvic, beautifully coming up towards the lower abdominal and the lower back, coming up towards the midrib and the torso, feeling the mid-back area up to the chest, now to the shoulders and the upper back, feeling the arms 
and moving down to the hands equally from both the hands together, feeling the neck and the back of the neck, strongly feeling around the face and the entire scalp and the top of your head area, sensing this amazing, beautiful, lovely energy filling you up from top to toe. And you're exhaling away what no longer feels is yours originally. Feeling of anything that is stressful, holding you back with certain troubles in the mind. You're just thinking of them and exhaling it out and physically moving yourself away, sensing the part of you, the layer of you moving out, coming into that space of genuine, authentic calm inside you, placing every little drop of peace within. Sensing a cool calmness in and letting go of the warmth feeling of the stress out. You can sense yourself just creating this amazing, beautiful, glowy white light that is shining from within. And as you carry on breathing even more and even paying more attention into your breath, you can literally now feel that this glow is moving outwards, outwards from the silhouette of your body, beautifully sensing this amazing energy out. The point where there is a glow inside your body, strongly sensing this amazing energy feeling, yourself so very calm, very, very peaceful. this amazing, lovely sensation of complete silence and peace. And as we are just working with surrendering ourselves fully, moving into that nice surrender state, sensing and feeling this amazing energy of you can be vulnerable, you're allowed to be. You can open yourself up fully and there is no shame to do so. And the feelings, we just surface up to the ones that we even hide within ourselves too. Now, I would like all of you pay attention and bring awareness around your crown area right on top of your head. We are now going to go and travel into a timeline, a timeline that we call and we put upon that space of healing, knowledge, wisdom, high-tech understanding, a portal moving towards the mighty ancient Egypt. As you place your awareness now into your crown, 
I would like all of you first just sense and feel that when you are breathing in and out you are going to focus on your crown as you breathe in and though you are breathing from your nose you will feel the energies activating around your crown chakra right around the top of your head the center part with every breath that you take in you feel that you are connecting with your crown and it opens up or it feels that it is expanding energetically a little bit more as you breathe in when you're about to exhale you can feel that you can push the exhale outwards from your crown again breathing in from the crown and breathing out from the crown almost as if you can visualize that your nostrils are not really around the nose but rather they've been placed on top of your head and you can literally feel that energetic breathing in and out from your crown feel it breathe in and now breathe out and you might even feel certain tingling sensations a little heavy feeling around the top of your crown and that's all good it's all beautiful stick to that feeling and keep experiencing that amazing deeper way of expanding your crown chakra with your breath and from here you're going to use your imagination and link with body mind and soul starting with as you breathe in and when you breathe out you're now going to travel outwards almost as if you can see that there's a laser beam of light evoking from the top of your crown and as you are seeing this beam of light you can see yourself that you're traveling that beam of light upwards as it moves out from the crown chakra and it's almost like a pathway that has been lit with white light and you're just beautifully just floating flowing in and traveling and you carry on seeing yourself going more and more away from the timeline that you see normally in your physical plane as you keep traveling higher and higher beautifully it's almost as if there's more light that carries on this tunnel of light that moves ahead further down more and more and as you carry on moving ahead more and more there's a peak of almost a scene like a screen that appears in front of you and it seems like it's a lot like a portal transferring yourself from one timeline to the other and you pass cross almost like slipping into that screen now it almost feels like it's created with plasma and it is 
something that you can move in and out from. And as you've just done that, you see yourself completely in a different space. You can literally see yourself, your feet, on this amazing white, beigey white sand. And as you look around, you can see this majestic, beautiful, amazing pyramids glistening with light. There's also amazing, beautiful, lovely palm trees. And there's beautiful vegetation all around the area. You could also hear some water by the side flowing as awareness of the river Nile in front of you. You can also see a lot more animals around the area. And there's so much of peace. And it doesn't even seem as hot. It just feels very pleasant, full of sunshine. And the pyramids are so intact, so beautiful. And the top, the point of the pyramids is this amazing black stone crystal placed again, reflecting the sunlight back, almost shining so bright that when you see it directly, you almost feel like you have to close your eyes and engage properly because it's intense light coming directly as you look direct to it. And when you're looking at it, it almost feels like how beautiful these amazing pyramids really look like. It's almost like a white sheen light and it's so well polished, almost when the sun shines, that white, plain, almost like lime scale feeling, turns bright golden as it shines. Shining away in the sunlight. And you now look at yourself. You're no longer addressed anywhere like the modern world or the world that you would know. But there is an ancient feeling how you may have dressed at this point. Airy, linen, clothes. There's almost a feeling of being very wise at this point. As you walk, looking around, coming really close to this pyramid, and you also are aware that the water that you're looking at, the River Nile, seems like there is connections of the water moving underneath almost underground into all the pyramids that you could see. And not only that you see the pyramids, but you also would see statues, pillars around the area, almost like there's so much of respect that has been shown to these pyramids. Almost like it has a deeper truth and meaning, even to what things are still undiscovered 
and not fully known. And as you carry on going more closer and closer to the pyramid, towards it, you feel a tap around your shoulder. And when you look back, you see this amazing, beautiful, lovely woman with beautiful, lovely eyes right looking back at you. The eyes and there's such an amazing feeling just looking at this amazing, beautiful woman. She's much taller than you. To a point where she has a feeling of being human, but I do believe they are not very much human. They've got features like human beings, but they're much more powerful. Almost like ascended masters. Because they're dressed in a very ancient style. And you can feel that there's loads of gold, emerald, lapis lazuli, Pyrite, crystals that are sewn in, almost like a costume, like a royal feeling. And this particular woman also has these amazing golden, beautiful, long, but delicate wings. And there's this amazing crown that she's wearing. Though there is a delicate features that you can see of her, she yet stands almost a leader in front of you. An empowered, beautiful, lovely person. A being. And with a smile, it's almost like she speaks telepathically, sensing and feeling you fully. She does a hand gesture, and it seems like there was an invisible door that now is fully visible and takes you inside the pyramid. And you start walking, moving inside. And she leads you in. And as you go in, it's almost like there is a, almost like a tall lift, taking you upwards. And there's an amazing, high technological space that you can see but though it looks ancient, there was high technology at this point lifting you all the way up towards somewhere in the center, higher above, into the pyramid, almost like the heart of the pyramid. And as soon as you reach right to the center point. This beautiful, lovely lady introduces herself, saying, this is Isis, welcoming you into the chamber of healing. As you step out from that lift-like space, entering into the heart of the pyramid. It's almost like there's a stone that's full made of crystal, shining a yellow light. Almost like, as you can understand and feel, that there is a slab of a thick, beautiful quartz 
just placed. And there's a high vibrational energy that you already sense and feel from this beautiful, lovely crystal placed right in the center. And telepathically, you connect and you've been just asked to lie down. And as soon as you lay down, you see right at the top, almost up to the ceiling. And you can see these high walls that move all the way towards the center point of the pyramid. And there is a beautiful, lovely light shining all the way down from the top tip point of the pyramid, moving downwards directly into your heart center. And there's a beautiful, lovely music that moves. And even at this point, there is another lady another amazing, beautiful lady joins in. Her energy just feels very powerful instantly. She has a head of a lion or a lioness and a body of a petite woman, yet very tall feels very delicate but yet very strong and just her presence as she enters this room this chamber and stands right in front almost standing towards your head area the top and Isis right around where your feet has been placed. This beautiful, lovely goddess energy introduces herself as Sekhmet and places her hands right on top of your head. And you instantly feel there is this beautiful golden light that is flowing as you are charged with the help of the light coming right on top from the tip point of the pyramid as the light falls down into your body, absorbing this amazing energy beautifully. Breathing in and breathing out feeling this powerful energy flowing in almost like you can feel the sensation of your cells rejuvenizing almost as if you're traveling within your body inside into every nerve every cell into your DNA, an activation taking place as there's more charge of energy coming all the way from your feet and this healing energy is been flowing through with the help of Isis and that there's amazing music and frequency of sound of the water flowing almost like this technology from the river of Nile that is flowing and the frequency of the water, the healing waters move and travel all the way into the chambers. And both the beautiful, lovely goddesses are also singing. And you can feel the vibration of this singing notes traveling all the way upwards and the echo and there is a simple tone of healing earth energy moving down 
It's almost like your skin is literally taking every aspect of this energy and absorbing it in. Feeling this amazing energy moving forward. You're just absorbing this energy. You can feel that traveling all the way from your crown down to each and every center of your body. And there is a lovely motherly energy, very beautiful as the singing carries on and you can already feel the power the feeling and it's time for you to be very open just open up your vulnerability at full space fully not holding anything back and the emotions that you've been holding and keeping within yourself. It's time for you to allow the mother work, heal you. And as you sense and feel this power of energy flowing, you can also sense that there's this energy floating and the heavy, dense feeling just getting absorbed out, moving from your legs and your feet, from your heart center, from the throat, and also from your sacral and your root chakra. Any areas that you feel that requires more deep healing, especially around the lower chakras, you can literally feel the ignite, golden light energy flowing through. And every cell is been penetrated through this golden light, rejuvenizing them. The DNA is more stronger and it's almost as if it's been amplified with the ancient knowledge, the ancient higher realm, dimensional energies. Strongly, you can feel the power moving in 
and some areas do get hot and cold but you just feel the power of energy just floating, moving, immersing, absorbing and all the energies that are no longer for the highest good maybe emotions picked up from others or just the sensation, feelings of yourself through your own conditioning whether in childhood that you may have absorbed it through culture, environment, people, family or just traumas at the time glimpses of memories that requires healing due to trauma and suppression working beautifully helping you just relax even deeper sensation of this powerful healing moving forwards and you can already feel the heat around the chest area around your abdomen some can even feel the hands this powerful healing sensation completely filling you up and the singing in the background that may have gone a little quieter just because you went a lot more deeper it has not stopped and kind of feel that emotion penetrating helping you heal the godly energy can be felt thoroughly it's almost like the bed of quartz rock that you were lying on it just ignites with light and you can also feel the power from the crystal moving from the back penetrating into the body into your bones feeling that much deep healing all around every inch every cell in your body It's almost like you can feel the power of energy fully now, inside and out, replenishing all that space that you required to fill up with light. Sensing this amazing energy throughout now, as every inch of your body has absorbed this, and a lot of you can just remain over here and keep receiving this healing if you want to. And the ones who feel they would like to return is all that you can come back by yourself. I just want you to feel that gratitude and a huge big thank you for these amazing, beautiful, 
goddesses helping us up in our session, in our help of being there back into the timeline of ancient Egypt, working with the high dimensional space of healing, the knowledge of healing that comes from unconditional love and the heart center energy. And you can fill yourself up with so much of light and you can feel it already in your heart center. Sending love and gratitude to these amazing two beautiful lovely goddesses for allowing us to work so beautifully in today's session. We are now going to slowly return but the ones who like to just stay, you can as you can always return back and bring yourself in that conscious form when you feel you require or need to return. The music will carry on and you do not have to pay attention to anything that I will say from here. It's only for the ones who like to return back. Now slowly, as you raise yourself back standing, you see that the beautiful, lovely, amazing guides have now disappeared back into that amazing source energy. The entire pyramid is now fully lit with light and it's almost asking you to open up and there is a portal right in front. You do not have to go back the way you actually came in, but there's a direct access to now move into that other space, into the timeline. And you beautifully just slip into that particular portal and it zooms you back slowly and gradually into your timeline. The present moment in time, I'm going to give you a count of and each count you will see yourself zooming back beautifully into your space starting with 10, 9, 8, 7, zooming beautifully back, 4, 3, almost back into your body, 2, and one, see yourself back into your body, back into your room, back into your physical space, literally sensing and feeling your body, take a nice deep breath in from your nose, and when you're about to exhale, take it out from your mouth and slowly start wriggling your fingers and your toes. Take another deep breath in and this time, Take a breath in with gratitude. And when you're about to exhale, push it out from your heart center and send love and gratitude to your guides, to loved ones on the other side, to your support team who are working beautifully along with as well. And a final one, nice deep breath in. And when you exhale, take it out from your mouth and then just give yourself a huge gratitude for believing in yourself as you worked so perfectly, beautifully well. Slowly, when you're ready, open your eyes. Welcome back each and every beautiful, lovely souls who stuck by me till the end. Thank you once again. This beautiful, lovely healing is going to stay. Now you're going to keep connected and you're going to be there. You do not have to worry. You do not have to then go back and think about anything. Just feel the sensation of healing within. Some of you might even have dreams on a deeper level of something more around in the Egyptian times. And I hope you all felt connected. If anybody who feels that you'd like to do this again, please go ahead, but do not forget to share and comment of how you felt this particular meditation. Also, please do not forget to subscribe 
as your subscription helps me create more content and help more people exactly like you. Thank you once again, each and every one of you. I send you love and light. Thank you again.